Hi Youtubers, this is Tyler. In this video I will test something new that uh, I haven't seen any other reviewers do yet. I will test a wireless charging solution on China phones and clones. I got this from uh, everbuying.com. As always I will provide all the info in the video description so uh, remember to take a look if you have any interest in the products. So what I got here is the iGen K8 wireless charging pad. This one also includes a free receiver for the original Samsung Galaxy S5. So if this will work in my 1 to 1 S5 clone I will check out later in the video. Also I got the iGen QI wireless charging universal receiver that fits almost all phones using a USB charging port. The only important thing here is how the connector is turned, because on uh, HTC devices the port is upside down. So the good thing about the universal receiver is that you can hide it in the back cover, or just inside a phone case if the back cover should be non-removable. Important is that this side is down on the on the plate. Here we see the iTion logo. It's saying wireless charging card for micro USB and it's uh, universal. And we see it's saying uh, charging output DC 5 volt 600 milliampere. Also we see it says applies for QI standard transmitter. So uh, I will test this out in uh, different phones later in the video. So here we have the iGen uh, charging plate and we see it says pure power, less effort. I hope this is true. We have the QI wireless logo here and we have it saying wireless charger. And this is funny, I think this is in the Google colors actually. We see the K8 model number. This side we have just the same. And on the back side, QI wireless charging transmitter. So um, let's take a look inside. So first we have the charging card here wireless charging card for the Galaxy S5 we see it here we see the pins and connectors here then we have the wireless charging plate here take a look and we see the iTion logo I think it's a bird uh, and uh, we see the micro USB port for the power and I think this is a LED that will uh, flash or light up. On the side we see that it's uh, really thin and uh, on the back here wireless S charging. I think uh, they made this actually specific for the Samsung S5 device. Of course this one is uh, also made in China as we can see here. And uh, let's now take a look here on the manual here. We have the wireless charging operation manual and we have some different info about the safety. Here we also see they have different kind of designs and colors. And we also see how you should use uh, the plate here. The plate together with the, the receiver, the charging card uh, was only about $16 and uh, it comes with free shipping. The shipping took around 5 days. So also we have the USB cable here, it's a micro USB. 
and I guess this will work in any uh, wall charger or just in the computer USB port so that's it for the unboxing and now for the test so first I will test out the wireless charging card receiver um, this is the universal version and uh, I will test if this will work in um, a Note 3 clone here I have the HDC Galaxy Note 3 Max it's the N9006 this is a clone from China of the Note 3 so uh, when we take a look on the back remove the back cover this one can be connected to the port and then you just put this inside like this one let me try to connect it now so you connect this to the USB port then you put this on top like this then you take the back cover and you click on the back cover again and as you can see here we have the, the receiver in the USB port and the back cover is completely closed then I take the charging plate here take the phone place it on top and uh, what we can see now is that the phone actually charges so when I take this off you can see it don't charge anymore what we see here is also that this LED is blue when it charges and if I remove it now it turns red when I put it on top again it turns blue again let me try once again from this side you see here blue the screen turns on and actually it charges so uh, this is how you can add wireless charging to your uh, Note 3 China clone here I have the HTC Galaxy S5 900F 1 to 1 clone of the Samsung Galaxy S5 and uh, on the back we see it actually has these pins we have the battery then I have the wireless charging receiver here from uh, iChan and uh, as told this is actually made for the original S5 so I will try now to attach this on the back like this to the phone here and put on the back cover to see how it reacts so of course it's important that uh, these uh, pins have the correct contact and as you can see the cover still fits the phone you can close it all the way there's no gaps so now it's uh, connected right now it's 84 percent and uh, I'm going to put it on here on top it turns blue so the charging receiver is found but unfortunately I don't see the phone charging at all when we take a look here we see 83 percent battery but uh, it don't charge so my conclusion on this is that uh, the original uh, don't work on the HTC Galaxy S5 1 to 1 clone I guess that uh, these pins on the back actually are just fake 
These don't seem to have any real uh, function. They are mostly just placed here for the optics and for the looks. Of course, if you want to add uh, wireless charging anyway to this phone, you can do it like I did on the Note 3 clone here with the universal solution. So now I have attached the universal uh, receiver. The only problem with this is that um, this cover is in the way from the um, USB connector and uh, you can't close this correctly now. So I guess if I would to use this I would just remove this cover completely. But as you can see the cover uh, closes uh, good on the back. And let's try to put it on the charging plate now to see what happens. And as you can see it turns blue and I can see that the phone actually begins to charge. We see the power symbol on the battery. Let me test again, it turns red. No power symbol. Let us turn off the screen. Let me put it on. So this is a solution you can use if you want the wireless charging on your clone. Now I'm going to check out the, the wireless charging on my Nexus 7 tablet and uh, this one has built in original uh, wireless charging so uh, I'll just put this on top here and see what happens and uh, what happens is that actually it lights blue now you can see it right now but uh, let me turn on the screen here and uh, right now I will try to lift up so you can see that it says here charging 83 percent now I'm going to show you how you can use the universal uh, charging pad on phones with the non removable uh, back cover like the LG G2 or the Pump C6S you can't remove the back cover on these two but if you have a cover a case like this you can put them in the back. So uh, now I have uh, attached the the case and uh, as you can see I have hidden the um, receiver inside the case here on the back side let's take the charging plate and try to put it on top and as you can see it's found and the phone is charging and uh, here I have the pump C6S with the same solution I have the clear back case here and I uh, have attached the receiver inside the back here let's see what happens if I put this on the charging plate here it turns blue and the phone will shortly power on and display the pump logo and uh, here we see that the phone is beginning to charge so my final words the ITN products work really great and the universal receiver is a very good solution so uh, that's it for now this was the test of the ITN wireless charging plate and receivers if you have any questions uh, regarding the products, please remember to comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, I hope to see you again in my next video. See ya!